Hi, it's Ron here, Home Inspection Services. How are you doing today? We are uh, doing a little side job for a friend. I, uh, of course, since I'm in the home inspection business, I, I tend to have a lot of uh, uh, friends and family members that still ask me to do projects, and I take them on as a, a, a more of a way to express my talents than I do as a way of, uh, to make a complete and total income because I rely on my home inspection business to make an income. This allows me to uh, kind of pick and choose the jobs that I want to do. And um, today what we're doing is we're, we're taking a bathtub and converting it into a shower. And we're doing it at a relatively low cost, but we're actually doing it in a way that's superior to anything else that's out there. And I can show you why. Um, what we're doing is, first off, we've, uh, we've just had sheetrock walls, much the same as you see right here. We just have a typical sheetrock bathroom. Um, it, it is sheet rocked with green board, which is a water resistant uh, type uh, uh, sheet rock, and it's been textured and painted. And what we're doing now is we actually have uh, cut away all of the bad areas, and we've done it down low everywhere, and we've taken out some of the rot here. And I, this is not glued up yet, so we're going to peel this back, and we're actually going to fill this in with mortar. And I can show you here if we peel this back. And we've uh, peeled that away. And what we're doing is we're going to uh, fill that in with mortar, and we're going to we're going to glue this to the wall basically with uh, thin set mortar. And we're, we didn't just use regular mortar; we used an actual uh, high grade, premium thin set mortar that uh, is is modified and has latex in it, and it's made for bonding to uh, paint. Uh, it, it'll literally stick to this uh, bathtub. And so what we're doing is we've um, we've already started by taking a an, a uh, v trowel. Uh, you can use a, an eighth to a quarter of an inch V trowel. We mixed up mortar. Um, I spread it on the wall here, and as you can see, this this is not just plastic. It has a fiber mesh on it, and this is made to overlap. So they have uh, two different surfaces there. And what we're doing is we we we've, we've, we've uh, glued it up on the wall, and we've done that by spreading this V side trowel all over, and then. Uh, We've actually uh, used the back side of the trowel, smoothed it out. Once this is flattened out and there's no bubbles in it, and what we've done is we've actually stapled it up in a couple of spots. We don't have to worry about leaking because, again, this is a, a modified mortar, and when it dries, it's actually waterproof. And what we've done is we've put up this membrane, and now we're protected from the walls. And water can't ever get back in there. And we've cut away the sheetrock behind here and, and filled it in with this mortar. And now the membrane goes all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to patch all this in with mortar. We're going to put this membrane back over here. And glue it up and cut it even. And then once we're done, we'll be able to apply the tile right over the top of the membrane. And so... That's it for now, and uh, we'll be back uh, again with another clip to show you when we start uh, putting the tile back on. Okay, and we're back now, and we have the uh, membrane installed on the wall, and you can see that it's uh, pretty flat. And uh, one thing we want to make sure of is that we really do get all the little air pockets out of here. And so this was the actual trowel that we used to put the mud on, and you can see it's uh, a V trowel. It used to have sharper points on there, but I ground, I grown them down because I don't like them tearing up the membrane. So I actually took the tips of them off, so they're not so sharp. And uh, this this particular trowel, I think, is a three sixteenths, and it's have the markings on it. I just know by what it is what I like. And so you're going to want to use the right size trowel according to the uh, manufacturers uh, of the tile and what they say for the size. Usually three sixteenths of an inch to a quarter inch V trowel for the membrane itself, and so we uh, put, the, put the mortar, again, uh, uh, latex VersaBond, I used a made by custom products, that's what I particularly like to use, but you want to use a uh, um, fortified mortar that has a, a latex base to it, and we put that on the wall, we put the membrane on the wall, and we smoothed it out, and then I went back over it with the actual float, a grout float, and I used that to push all the uh, air pockets out here, and I want to really make sure it's on here well. And so we pushed all the air pockets out, and I actually put a few staples in here and there, wherever I decided, because, you know, it's not going to not gonna flood back there, but we want to keep the water off of the wall. And so now we can, put the, we can put the tile right on the wall 
without really get, uh, giving up any of our distance that we have, and we don't have to tear the sheetrock off the wall. And this is actually superior to anything else you could put on there because this is a membrane. It will not allow water into the wall. And so the next thing that we've done is we've taken our tile, and you have to have your tile available to you, and we figured out what our dimensions are on our tile, and uh, we've uh, taken and we've measured... We want to have a strip of this edge tile, and this tile here has a, a nice edge on it, and we want to be able to put that tile down the edge of the tub, all the way down to the floor, and so what we've done is we found out what, about what that full tile is, and we're going to actually work our way back to the corner over here, and then we're going to have to cut the smaller tiles into the corner. And uh, your tile may lay out differently where you may be able to put whole tiles in there. One thing we don't want to do is end up with little skinny tiles somewhere. And if we have to cut, I prefer to cut over here in the corner because I already know the corner is not perfectly straight. And so I'm going to uh, adjust my cuts as I go up and then uh, the other cuts will die into it and it, it'll just be the way it is because we're not dealing with a perfectly straight wall. And so anyways, um, we, we know what our distance is off the tub and we don't want the tile directly on the edge of the tub. We want to be able to lift the tile up just a little bit so we can um, actually do some sealing down there, some caulking or some silicone and uh, not just have the tile right against the edge of the tub. Also, the tub, will, tub is not perfectly level. And so we want to make sure that we find out where the short side is, where we're going to have to do the most amount of cutting, and work our way that direction, and cut our tiles, if we have to, down that way so it looks pretty even. And so you'll have to do some uh, measuring and some uh, plumbing, and find out exactly where your tile is going to be. And so we've done that already. We have a, a straight edge attached to the wall that we can just go ahead and put our tile right on top of, and we're dealing with these two by two foot by one foot sheets of mosaic tile and of course we used our, our level here and there we have a, a plumb edge up the wall here and we have a, a, a level board and we're going to put these on the wall like this and so what's going to happen is we're going to move over into this corner and work our way and then we're going to work around the faucet area when we're done and so um, that's pretty much we're set up to do that now and we also have purchased if you'll stay right there I'm going to reach behind you here We've actually purchased a couple of shampoo dishes. We chose not to put a soap dish in this particular job, but what we are going to do is we're going to put a couple of shampoo dishes in here, um, one here and one up a little higher. And what we're going to do is we're, we're, they're going to go ahead and just reach up there and grab the soap when they want to take a bath or a shower and, and then move the stuff back up there. And they have a little bit of room down here on the other end for some stuff. So we decided not to put a soap dish in there. And these are... Uh, these are an almond matte color, which will match pretty well with what we have here. So anyways, um, I think that's pretty much where we're at right now. We've got our layout, that's what we call that, and we know we're, we're ready to get started. And so what we're going to do here in a minute is we're going to take our uh, trowel like this, and we're going to go uh, out to the uh, outside and mix up some mortar, and then we're going to start the thin setting the tiles to the wall. And when we get going on that, we're going to put a little paper down on the floor like we have, so that way we can make sure that we're not messy and the tub cleans up pretty easy as long as we don't drop any tools in it. And so that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. And when we get going on uh, gluing up the tile, then we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll record a little bit more.